heard a lot of talk about self-driving cars, but what about self-driving boats? A local startup company is testing unmanned vessels in Boston Harbor. Brianna Pitts has the details in this week's Pit Stop. Brianna? Chris and Kate, Sea Machines just put their second test vessel in the water, and they're showing us how autonomous boats could actually be safer and more efficient with no one behind the wheel. This week's Pit Stop is in East Boston. This is a Safe Boat Defender 250, a 25 foot boat no longer used by the Coast Guard. It's Sea Machine's newest USV, unmanned surface vessel. They bring value to things that are dangerous, dirty, and dull, and that's really a lot of the operations in our space. CEO and founder Michael Johnson has been in the marine industry for 20 years and came up with the idea to build autonomous control systems on boats. By enabling a vessel to be autonomous or unmanned, now you can actually attack fires uh, and in a different way getting closer um, and then we also mentioned uh, oil spill you know just the aspect of cleaning up oil uh, it, it's very dangerous um, from the toxins uh, and fumes back on land an office full of autonomy scientists sea machines employs about 15 people from local colleges and universities all working to create the software we're about to test out We'll find a nice, clear, open space, and then we'll let the autonomy computer take over. We pass the Harbor Islands and finally end up by the JFK Library. Plugging in the coordinates, the boat will autonomously follow. All right, so David, the chief engineer, just stepped out of this boat. We're about to make a right turn. Check out the cabin inside. There's no one at the driver's wheel. This boat will eventually use radar to detect other boats in the harbor and make autonomous turns to avoid them. But just like the rules of the road, the rules of the water will need to be reevaluated. Because every rule now uh, relies on the fact that you have um, eyes and ears of, of a person uh, on board. The regulators from the international to, to states to uh, insurance regulations are right now being uh, drafted. And Sea Machines is actually working on a home button that they will put on board the boat. When pressed, the boat will automatically drive itself back to the dock. And just like a car can parallel park itself, the boat will also be able to dock on its own. Guys, it's kind of freaky to see just the chair there with no one in it. It's weird. No offense, Brianna, but I'd much rather have a robot driving my boat than you driving my boat. <laughs> I've seen That's you fair. out there. That's fair. <laughs> very cool technology, though. Thank you very much.